It's amazing how many people that are in a terminal situation can reverse it if they take control of their own, you know, issues. More people should do it. But we give it all up to MDs, the right prescriptions for drugs from drug companies that own them. Talk about the prevention of primary liver cancer. Cirrhosis is what hepatitis C causes. One of the things, but it's the main item. Around the world, there are millions of cases each year of primary liver cancer or hepatocellular carcinoma. Most of the liver cancer that we hear about is from a different organ in the body and it metastasizes or spreads to the liver and then throughout the body. So most liver tumors that we hear about are really another organ causing a tumor in the liver. In hepatitis C and cirrhosis, we develop a primary liver cancer tumor. Now there are a few studies out. Uh, they've been out for a long time. There are two main items people need to take. Anybody that has hepatitis C should take selenium, 400 mcgs per day for the rest of their life and they should take vitamin k2 or full spectrum vitamin k which is uh, vitamin k1 and vitamin k2 and sometimes some other things in there to help it absorb better these two items have been shown in study after study to prevent primary liver cancer in cirrhosis believe me it's something you have time to prevent it, it certainly is an inexpensive pill. Selenium and, and vitamin K2 are cheap. Take them. And I don't buy them for me. You can buy them from the health food store. I don't care. Just take them. It makes a big difference. In one of the studies uh, of 8,000 women over 15 uh, years, 80%, and these were people who had cirrhosis, 80% of them did not develop any primary uh, liver cancer, the ones that took vitamin K2. And selenium, selenium's been studied for decades. Selenium used to be common in the soil and it would end up in the food. And they've done studies all around the world and it shows that people who ate food that contained selenium did not develop cancers of all types. Today, selenium is not put back into the soil after it's farmed. Once it's farmed, it's gone. And you have to take it because it's not in your food so anyway I've seen this map all around the world it's still in South African places there's places where they still have a lot of selenium in the soil and where people eat that food grown in that soil and those people do not get as many cancers so it's important and in, in hepatitis C it is it is more important than than anybody else I have uh, dealt with primary liver cancer extensively and if you ever get diagnosed with it or the doctor suspects that you have it do not allow any doctor to biopsy it because every person that I have met that had a primary liver cancer biopsied died because once this particular type of cancer is biopsied it spreads mostly to the lungs and to the brain if if you do not have it biopsied I have uh, items that can reduce the alpha feta protein number which is the primary tumor marker blood test and um, you can get that down to normal in about the, each person varies a little bit about eight or nine months and if it's under three millimeters or centimeters sorry I forgot which they can go in and freeze the tumor and it's it's a relatively simple procedure and then you're doing good so um, th these are absolute must do's for anybody with with hepatitis C or cirrhosis and again the majority of liver cancer throughout the world is the result of hepatitis B because millions and millions of people have that compared to 
only 500 million people worldwide have hepatitis C. It's a relatively new epidemic. Mm. So it's, um, it's important and primary liver cancer is on the rise in the United States because of hepatitis C. It's a manageable cancer. It's not a death sentence. And um, do your best to prevent it while you can. I take <laughs> vitamin K2 and selenium every day. In good health, Lloyd Wright. <laughs>